How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In my hand is the new Huawei Mate 20X 5G. I've been using it for a while now, and I wanna tell you guys about five things I really like about this phone and reasons why this should be your next smartphone. First, let's talk about the size. So this is a 7.2 inch full view display with a notch, and it's got OLED panel as well, so this is very vibrant, it's bright, and the color accuracy is very good as well, which is something I really like. This is very much important for when playing games, watching videos, and even reading books as well. And you can even adjust the brightness and the color temperature. So if you're reading a book, for example, you don't want it to be hurting your eyes, especially at nighttime or in a bright sunlight situation, you still be able to see this very well. The Mate 20X 5G has near enough no bezel here. So we have 87.8 3% screen to body ratio. So it means you get a full screen real estate. So when you're watching videos, as I said before, you get to be immersed in the experience as you're watching your videos. With a full HD plus display, which is 1080 by 2244 pixels, it means you also get really sharp display here with 345 PPI. Again, this stands out when you watching videos, you get to see near enough, no pixels at all. It just looks very sharp, very nice, very smooth as well. Next is performance. Now for me, this is very important for a device like this. It needs to be able to run the games very smoothly with no hiccups. It needs to be able to do my workflow. So if I'm editing documents, that kind of stuff, I wanna be able to run multiple applications at the same time. And this is very important for me. The Mate 20X 5G is powered by Huawei's first seven nanometer multi-mode 5G chipsets with the Kirin 980 processor in there as well. So again, with 7 nanometer, it's very efficient, power efficient that is, and you have Balong 5000 chipset in there as well for your 5G. And what's great about this, which is what makes it stand out, is the NSA and SA, which is non-standalone and standalone. This is very good for a smooth transition when switching between 5G and 4G. Again, with 5G being an evolving network, this is something that will improve over time. This will be able to handle that very well for you without having any hiccups. In addition to the seven nanometer processor chip in here, you've also got a Mali G76 GPU in there. Again, this is great for you gamers out there, so you'll be able to run your games very smoothly with no hiccups. And couple that with eight gigs of RAM, you'll be able to run your games without having to worry about other applications in the background affecting the gaming performance. So you can also game all day long as well without having to have a very hot device in your hand, so to speak. You have Huawei Supercool, which is a groundbreaking cooling solution that utilizes graphene film and vapor chamber. This is integrated into the device itself. So this is gonna allow for a cool device. It's gonna stay cool when playing games all day long or using any graphically intensive applications and games. Next is the battery life. So with this, you get an all day battery life. So that's 4,200 milliamp hour battery in there. With this, you can do all the things you love all day long without having to worry about your battery running out at any point. The Huawei Mate 20X 5G also supports 40 watt Huawei Supercharge. So this is a fast charging solution, which means you can quickly get your battery up to 100% in no time at all. This is particularly important because if you need to quickly top up on the go, you can just do that by just plugging in quickly and you can go back to 100% in no time. Next is my favorite part. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love my photography. And the Huawei Mate 20X 5G is no slacker at all here. It has a triple Leica camera set up on the back, which can capture any kind of photography style that you do, like macro, landscape, portraits. You can do all that kind of stuff on the Huawei Mate 20X 5G. You have a 40 megapixel wide angle camera, a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 8 megapixel telephoto camera as well. So you, you can get close and personal to your subject without having to move too much from where you're standing. The cameras are also great in low lights as well. So for example, the 40 megapixel wide angle lens has f1.8 aperture, so you'll be able to get a lot of light in, adequate enough to get the sharp images without blowing up too much, without blowing up the, the highlights and the contrast too much as well. You have a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with f2.2 aperture and even the eight megapixel telephoto as f2.4 aperture as well. So you have laser focus, face focus and contrast focus as well. It also supports AIS. So this is Huawei's AI image stabilization. Again, with shaky hands, it means you still be able to get sharp images without having to worry about blurry, blurry shots that you can't share on social media. On the front as well, we have a 24 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and this supports a fixed focal length as well. With this, you'll be able to take nice selfie shots. So if you're out and about with your friends, at a party or wherever it is, you'll be able to take some nice selfies with your group of friends, even in low light situations. You can also record videos as well, up to 4K at 30 frames per seconds. 
And one of the favorite things about Huawei devices now, like the P30 or the Mate 20 as well, is the fact that you can do night shots. So with night mode, this can open up the exposure just for a bit longer and get you'll be able to get really, really nice sharp images at nighttime that almost look like daylight. And thanks to Master AI as well, you'll be able to recognize different scenarios and the camera itself will just do all the work for you in making sure that you're capturing it as it should be captured. Finally, we have 5G. Again, this is what this device is all about right now because 5G is everywhere. It's come into the UK, it's been rolled out slowly. So you can get it on networks like Vodafone, E and 3 as well. And I believe other networks are having it in the UK very soon. So having this device means you'll be able to benefit from having 5G contracts or deal with your network provider. With 5G, you'll be able to download movies very quickly. So imagine you're about to get on a flight. So you just remembered, actually let me download an album or a video from, on Netflix. You'll be able to download a video very quickly and benefit from that feature. With a multi-mode chipset in there as well, which is the Balang 5000 processor chip. You'll be able to use standalone and non-standalone compatibility. So for example, if you're in 5G, if you're in a 5G area, this will connect to 5G very comfortably without, dra without draining your battery life. And when there's no 5G signal, it will quickly drop, that, drop down very smoothly to 4G and you can still benefit from fast network speeds. And with 5G speeds as well, it means you'll be able to download more on the go. It means you'll be downloading more movies. And what does that mean? You need more storage. And with this, it comes with 256 gig of internal storage. And you can even expand it by buying the nano memory card that you can get from Huawei. And with this, it means you can download all the videos you want, all the games that you want on the go. Finally, if you get the Huawei Mate 20X 5G, you also benefit from every future updates that's coming, including Android Q updates as well. And any other updates that will be coming as normal from Huawei. So that's it for the Huawei Mate 20X 5G. Guys, as usual, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. If there's any question or anything that you want me to do with a smartphone or you want to find out more about, again, leave comments in the comments area. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.